godmother is someone who um, historically bestows luck upon the ship and all who sail in her. Uh, so that is my long-term job. It's a lifetime role that I'll be taking on. In the short term, I'll also be singing at the naming ceremony and taking part in christening the ship. I name this ship Anthem of the Seas. May God bless her and all who sail on her. I've been absolutely blown away by the Anthem of the Seas. To be honest, the whole process has been so fast. It's been a real whirlwind and it took a really long time for it to sink in that I'm actually the godmother of the ship. Uh, I think it really hit home for me actually dockside waiting for her to arrive in Southampton and she sort of appeared across the horizon through the mist and sounded her horn and that was the moment that it, that it really kind of hit me that I was responsible for this enormous vessel in a, in a certain sense. I definitely feel a responsibility. I mean, this sailing is the first one that we've done with, with passengers on board and it's been such a surreal experience. People stop at me in the corridors to say congratulations, you know, just to have a chat with the godmother of the ship and that makes you feel like the, the responsibility that, that you have. As an ambassador for the brand as well, I think, I think that's really important to remember that in, for my lifetime and the lifetime of the ship, I'm going to be an ambassador for Anthem of the Seas and for Royal Caribbean. One of the reasons that this role means such an awful lot to myself and to my family is because my grandfather was actually a shipbuilder. He was construction manager for the largest shipbuilding yard in the Northeast, uh, right up until I was very, very young when he retired. So we have the industry in our blood, it's kind of my heritage, so, and I think that he'd be super proud to know that I was godmother of one of the newest, largest, most innovative ships on the water today.